Hi, this is Ed Herzog from ElementorServices.com, and today I want to show you how to create a click-to-call button, click-to-call email button, and similar buttons using Elementor. Now, the features that I'm going to show you today are only available in Elementor Pro. So if you don't yet have Elementor Pro, I'll put a link in the video description in case you want to upgrade. And by the way, when you buy Elementor Pro via my affiliate link, I receive a small commission which helps keep this channel going. So here I have this contact page, and it's just a contact page which came from one of the Elementor templates, and I made a few modifications to it. And if I scroll down here to the bottom, you're going to see that I have this button here that says Contact Us. Now at this point, it's just a regular button, and what I want to do is I want to turn it into a click to email button. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually very simple. So what I'm going to do here is click there, and I'm actually going to change this because instead of Contact Us, maybe I want to say Write Us, since that's what we want. And then here for the link, I'm going to leave that right there blank. And instead, I'm going to click here on Dynamic Tags. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Actions. And under Actions, I want Contact URL. I'm going to click on that. And then I come to this little wrench here that's on the uh, left-hand side where it says Contact URL. And click on that. And I have to select my type. And so here, I want Email. So I'm going to click Email. And now, I'm going to put here under Email the email that I want this email to be sent to, in this case, my email. So I would put ed at Elementor Services, oops, com. And then you can pre-populate the subject and the message if you want, you know, particularly the subject might be something that, you know, that way when the email comes to you, you know exactly, you know, why you're getting this email, but you could leave this blank too, you know, if you want the person themselves who is writing you to fill it out, that's fine. And again, you could even pre-populate the message. Uh, again, probably not quite as useful as pre-populating the subject line, but you do have that option if you want to. And then when somebody clicks on this button, it's going to open up their email provider so that they can then send you an email. So let's check that out. So let me come down here, click on update, and then preview changes. And I'll scroll down here to the bottom and click on write us, that button we just created. And you see that it opens up my email server. Now in this case, I don't have things set up, but you know, if the person who's sending you an email already has things set up, they won't have to go through, the, through these additional steps. But in my case, I'd have to you know choose an account here and then send an email through that particular account. But as you saw, setting up a click the email button in Elementor Pro is very easy. But we're gonna take a look at some other options as well. So while this write us button, this click the email button works well on desktop, on laptop, on a tablet, we might wanna do something different on mobile. So let's take a look at how to do that. So first I wanna come into the mobile settings. So I'll click here and click on mobile, scroll down, and go into the button settings. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna turn this button off on mobile. So I'm gonna come down here to responsive. I'm under the advanced tab. And I come down here to responsive and I'm gonna hide that button on mobile. And so you see this button is now hidden on mobile. Now what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate this button and I wanna do the opposite. So I'm gonna come here to advanced and scroll down to responsive. And I wanna hide it on desktop and tablet and turn it on on mobile. So there we have it now set up on mobile. Obviously we have to make changes to this in order to make it a click to call button as opposed to a click to email button because a, you know, a click to call button makes a lot more sense on mobile than it would uh, you know, on a desktop or on a tablet or a laptop. So what I wanna do now is come here to the content settings for the button. And first of all, I obviously wanna change the text. I no longer want to say write us. Let me change this to call us. And then I wanna change the contact URL, the type of contact URL. This is already set up as a click to email, but I wanna change it to click to call. So click there on the wrench and click here and go to telephone. And I'm gonna enter my phone number. Now I wanna start with a plus button and my country code. In my case, I live in Columbia, so the country code is 57. And then I'll just enter in my phone number. And there you have it. This should now be a click to call button. Now this is a little hard to demonstrate because I'm on my laptop. I obviously don't have telephone service on my laptop, but if I hover over this, I don't know if you can see down in the left-hand corner, it does indeed display my telephone number. So this button does work. So if you wanna set up a click to call button, again, this is very simple to do. And you could add in other things. You could come here you know, to the icon settings and add a, you know, a telephone icon if you wanna do that, just to make it more obvious what this is. But uh, again, this is very simple to set up. Now, so far we've been doing this using the button widget within Elementor. 
but you can set up things like click to call, click to email, etc using other Elementor widgets as well, as long as you can add a link and as long as you can also add dynamic options. So let me show you an example. So if I come up here and we go to the icon widget, I bring this in here and let's say what I wanna do is use this icon here so that somebody clicks on it and it goes to what's up. So first gonna change the icon and look for a what's up icon, put that in there. And let's change the color on that so it's a uh, it's green like what's up and then I just come over here and the same thing we did before there I have the link and click on dynamic tags scroll down go to contact URL click on the wrench and come here to what's up and again add in my number just like I did before plus 57 319 367 7773 and go ahead and update that preview it, scroll down and click on that icon. And you see that it up, it opens up what's up. Now, of course, this would be different on your cell phone, which is probably where you'd want to use it. But, uh, you know, this can work on a desktop or a laptop as well. Now, you may have noticed when I clicked on the little wrench here, that's part of contact URL, that within the Elementor Pro, you actually have a lot of other options for connecting with your website visitors, not just the ones that I've shown you in this tutorial. And again, you can use an icon, a button, whatever widget you want that allows you to put in a link and has dynamic tags. Now, I don't wanna go through the rest of these options in detail because it'll be a little redundant, but I do wanna make sure that you know what your various options are. So let's take a look here. So if I click on that wrench, and then click there on type. So we've looked at email and telephone. You also have SMS, which again will be telephone. You have Skype. So here with Skype, you have options like call, chat, show profile, add to contacts, and send voicemail. We come here to Messenger, so it'd be Facebook Messenger. You have Viber. So again, with Viber, you can either have them contact you or they can add you to their contacts. You have Waze, so again, you can put in your direct or your location and it can get directions to how to get to your physical business. And finally, you have Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and Yahoo Calendar. So it, you, with these ones here, you're going to add information for an event that you have, and then they can add that information directly to their calendar. Again, whichever one you've, whichever one you've chosen, Google, Yahoo, or Outlook. So those are different options you have for setting up ways to connect with your website visitors be a, via click. So I hope you found this tutorial on how to set up click to email, click to call, and similar options within Elementor Pro to be useful. Remember, if you want to upgrade to Elementor Pro, there'll be a link in the video description below. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.